Hi folks, Ted Hancock, SealAdvisorDown.com and I just wanted to make a quick video that is about this bike and it's not about this bike as well. A bit confusing, let me explain. This video is kind of, in a way, about less is more. And yesterday was an extremely good example of how, on some occasions, I'm not saying all of the time because, let's face it, big bikes, powerful bikes, they are fun. But there are times when you can get just as much enjoyment out of something like this, which is Honda's new CBR 500R, which we were lucky enough, not me, myself. We sent Harry to the, the launch of that and he rode all three versions of it, the Adventure, the Naked and the Sports Bike. Um, so it started off yesterday and it was bitterly cold in the morning, properly, properly ball achingly cold. Um, and I had to get to Donington from Coventry, which is about 45, 50 miles, um, to go to the launch of Har of Arai's new um, helmet, which is called the Profile V or Profile 5, whichever way you want to refer to it. Um, so I bombed there on this, which was a hoot, because I was going up the A444 from Coventry, which is a nice, really nice twisty road. Brings you out the top of the A42, and then you've got uh, about 10 miles of dual carriageway, and then you're into Donington. So it was a great laugh, and it was a real hoot. And by the time I'd got to Donington... I forgot that I couldn't feel my fingers anymore and I forgot that I couldn't feel my feet anymore and I was just grinning from ear to ear because it's so engaging to ride something like this because you can't just be lazy and just rely on the torque to get you out of the corner. You've got to make sure that your gear changes are absolutely on point. You've got to make sure that you're in the right part of the rev range otherwise the engine's just going to bog down. And it's just you're having to think about everything so much more. And it's not just in the corners. You're planning an over overtake and previous bike to this I had was a Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sport, which although it's a big, heavy, hefty, wide tourer, you could pretty much make every overtake that you wanted to without too much thought. You didn't have to plan it too much. But on this, you've got to be really, really on top. So you see a gap. You can't just go for it. You have to assess how far the next corner is. Is there a car coming? Can you see over that hedge? So it's the, all the time you're just thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, and it's, it's great to do it again because you kind of get a bit lazy, I think. We get spoiled and we get given all these amazing super bikes and, and then you get on something like this and it reminds you what riding a motorbike is actually all about and it's kind of having fun and self-preservation all rolled into one and sometimes the self-preservation is part of the having fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, got to Donington Park and we were testing out their new Profile V which is a kind of a one-up from a base level helmet in, in the RI range but it's really pucker lid, there'll be a full review coming up soon. Um, but when we went on track we were with the Ron Haslam Race School who've just taken delivery of their CBR 650R fleet which I went on the launch of back in was it February, I think it was February, um, in Almeria. And again, it's an awesome bike. It's It's got double the horsepower of this. It's got about, well, actually more than double the horsepower. It's got about 114 horsepower. And that as well at Donington was, it was so much fun because you could just take the piss. You'd get on the throttle really early. The traction control wasn't too intrusive. Um, so it let the back end of the bike move around a bit and you could take the piss in the braking area, but you still know that you can sort of throw the thing on its ear and get it get it round the corner, like at the Melbourne Loop, prime example. Up the hill uh, from the Foggy S's and you go up the hill, you go down the other side of the hill, you carry too much brake, uh, carry too much speed, you get on the anchors, ABS, everything's cutting in and shaking. You can still just drop it on your knee and just sort of get back, back round the corner, hit the apex and, and off you go again. And again, I had, I had fun on it, but I reckon this would have probably been more enjoyable because I just could have probably used it even more. I could have got to 100% of the bike's ability, which is kind of what, that's that little kind of hinterland where if it starts to feel a bit nice is when you're right on the edge, but you're not going to kill yourself on this at Donington because you've got a mile and a half of runoff and gravel trap, etc. So then we did the 650s. That was awesome. We had four sessions on the 650s I think uh, four 20 minute sessions and it was a blast and I was knackered and then we had a bite to eat and then the PR manager for Honda UK came over and said well do you fancy having a go on the Fireblades this afternoon on the elite course okay so CBR 500 to work CBR 650R on the track day with the Ron Haslam school and then in the afternoons I did uh, four 20 minute sessions on the Fireblade at Donington with the elite course with an instructor one to one training and it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. But I still really wanted, this was sat in the car park and I didn't get to take it around the track. And this was the one that I just thought, this thing would be so good 
down through Craner, through the old hairpin, because you would be on it all the time. You just have to pin it. On the blade, I was coming out of Redgate, second, hook, third, early, down Craner curves, and you're constant, well, I am anyway, because I'm not a fantastic track rider, but you're constantly metering the throttle just to try and just stop the back end from, from spinning and the back end from moving about. If I was more competent, I'd probably be happier with it moving around. I'd probably just sit there and hold it in a big fat slide, but then again, I'm not a track day hero. But I still think this, I'd have got so much out of it. 47 brake horsepower. It's got decent suspension. It's not got the best suspension in the world. When it came to me, uh, the front end was really, really soft. So there were a set of corners around near where I live where the, it's quite undulating. And I tend to take every bike um, there. The, when I first get it, just take it around this set of S-Bends quite quickly. And you get a feel for how the suspension is and whether or not you need to adjust it. And it was like... It was like a waterbed, basically. You were just floating around all over the place. So I've stiffened up the front end. I've added uh, a couple of clicks of um, preload into the rear shock. That's the only adjustability you've got. But, you know, you've got adjustable forks, stick an adjustable shock in it. It's just going to put the price up. And, yeah, it's great fun. You can literally hammer around and just have fun on it. It's just enjoyable. And there's something in being able to use 100% of a bike's ability. I mean, I, some of the roads that I ride around here, if I rode them on a bigger bike, like a 650 or a 1000, I probably wouldn't be much quicker than I would be on this. But on this, I can use all of the bike's potential. And it's just so rewarding. You've got the rev counter bouncing off the, the red line. You know, you've got the, the shift lights constantly telling you to change gear. It's exciting. It's enthralling. And there are going to be people that are probably watching this now and they're commenting on the posts going, oh, yeah, but my 750 would eat that for breakfast. I know that don't be a dick i'm not saying this is faster i'm saying this is enthralling to ride it doesn't scare you and it goads you on and it eggs you on and it it just makes you want to enjoy motorcycling not enjoy a motorcycle i think that's the key point that i'm trying to get across anyway i'm waffling you'll read a full review of this on visordown.com and there'll also be a full write-up on both the courses that i did at the ron haslam race school in the next few days